Hey guys, this is uh, once again another review. Yet another model. This one is the uh, North Scott Cat. It's uh, 825H soil compactor in 150th scale. Let's get started here. Your main features is your blade raises, it lowers, and I believe it can tilt. Which, that's, that's pretty nice to tilt if you ask me. It tilts more on this side. That's very nice. Uh, your wheels roll. And it articulates. Or pivots. Uh, doors don't open, nothing like that. No compartments open. It just... Like that. So, uh, let's get a little deeper into the model. Uh... Here we have the, it's fixed, meaning it won't move, the blade won't tilt back or forward. Uh, I'm not that familiar with soil compactors, but I'll do my best here. The blade is really, it's it's not a big blade, it's it's not uh, a dozer. I guess it, it's mainly for grading and compacting. Uh, it's almost like a grader on four wheels. Um, a motor grader if anyone calls them that. The wheels are very nice. I like the wheels a lot. Uh, going to the underside of the model. It has the uh, the cleaners, or if that's what you call them, just to get all the junk out of the wheels. Just like the, the landfill compactors have those as well. There's not, not so much detail on the underside of the model. You can see a lot of the screws and stuff. But, uh, there's so the North Scott Group, Wisconsin, made in China. Uh, not so much on the other side of the model as there is over here. Uh, it has a ladder to get up to the cab. Uh, the railings, they're thin. They're nicely uh, scaled, but they are plastic. Which, I, I mean, the metal ones are always going to be nicer than the plastic ones. Uh, but I mean, they chose plastic, so that's what they put. Uh, these are as well plastic, but I mean they're nice. One thing I would have done is paint, paint the uh, ooh, the, the step, like right over here. They just they don't really. Well, they match, but they're not a perfect match. On the newer models, they are painting them, which which is a plus. This is the Power Edge design, which as many of you know, I, I don't like. And I, I got a comment from someone asking why I don't like it. I just, it just, there's too much yellow on the machine for me. The, the color doesn't balance, in my opinion. Here's the back. The grill's nice. I like the grill. It, it doesn't, it's not etched, but it, it goes, you could feel it that it does, uh, it, it's almost etched out. It's not, though. Uh, there's, I guess, you'd be your, your tow hook, and it has a fire extinguisher on it, which I over here. I even and anywhere I I really go, I I rarely see a machine with a fire extinguisher on it. I've seen a fire suspension that was on a larger mining shovel, but never just a fire extinguisher. Which I guess it's always safe to have, but yet to see one with a fire extinguisher on it. Uh, here's your wheels again. And your cab. The cab detail is pretty nice. I guess I I never s seen, once again, never seen the cab with that color. It's usually, you know, like different colors in the levers or sometimes different colors. Like black or whatever. But that's what they chose. Uh, just, you know, pretty nice. This piece is plastic here. Uh, all your, uh, your uh, handrails and ladders and lights are plastic. The cylinders are also plastic as well. Obviously. Now, th this is a pretty interesting feature. The lock system, I guess you'd call it. I don't know. That, I guess, would hold it there. And maybe it's for transport, I would guess. Unless you're on a site where you don't turn the machine. But... If you take this up, you turn it down over here, and then put it into there, the machine will not turn. 
which I guess it's for when it's on a low boy. Or if you just don't feel like turning. Now there also is a hole to keep it turned. Where you could you could lock it in so, so it's turned. So it would stay like that. I don't I have no idea what that is for. If anyone knows, like I, I always say, you know, comment. So it's good to learn something. Uh, the lights. Those are plastic. But, I mean, they're fine. It, if, if you play with a model, the plastic usually doesn't last. But, they're, they're really not for play. No, they're a collector's item, really. If, if they were, like, Bruder and Tonka toys are for play. Uh... Uh, what do we got here? Here's, I guess, your tilt cylinder. And, uh, here's your cylinder to raise it up and down. Uh, cab, I got that. Your lights, all your caterpillar symbols. And, which is real nice, which they are, uh, which, you know, everything shows should be on the model. But, uh, the cylinder for the turn, for the articulate, I should say. You can see right there. Now, they did a really nice job on the underside on uh, the 320DL. They have all the bolt detail, most of it, I guess. I'm not sure if it's all of it. The exhaust, I guess the air cleaner. Uh, I'm not really that familiar with soil compactor, so I'm not sure if that review was a good one or not. So, I mean, I don't really know what to say about them. I've seen a couple, but uh, they were in Ohio and Pennsylvania, just driving by them. But that's, uh, that's my review on it. I hope it was good, and uh, that's all.